you guys welcome back to my channel I hope you are having an amazing wonderful beautiful fantastic blessed day I can't believe I'm saying this but I'm actually recording this video on the day that I'm posting it which I have maybe done once in my two three years of YouTube um, so I'm really proud of myself for that but I just feel like this is a video I know you guys really want and I couldn't do my hair like this one more time without giving you the video. So this is going to be my curly hair routine. You guys ask me about this hairstyle all the time on Instagram. If you don't follow me, what the heck are you doing with your life? My battery is gonna die on my camera. I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can, but basically I am gonna take you guys through exactly what I do to get this hairstyle. It is very, very minimal heat on your hair, which I have hair extensions. I talk about those a little bit later and it, I just wanna protect them. So I use as little heat as possible on my hair when I can and yeah we are going to get right into it I'm gonna leave the links to everything that I am gonna be using in this video down in the description if you're interested and I guess I'm just gonna start off with um not a cool edit of me washing and conditioning my hair if I was like a cool aesthetic youtuber then I would probably do that but it's just me in here I am a one-man team so i wish i could do that but uh, i would probably accidentally like show you my boobs or something in the shower and that's not what i want to do i just don't trust myself to do that kind of cool edit so i'm sorry i wish i wish i could do that maybe i'll insert a clip of like a girl washing her hair or something so that you <laughs> Anyway, so you get the idea. So the two products that I use to wash my hair before I do this hairstyle are these right here. So this is the L'Oreal Revive, I believe it's called, shampoo. Oh, it's this way, Total Repair Shampoo. So this is the shampoo that I like. It doesn't leave my hair feeling like greasy. It feels clean, there's no sulfates. It doesn't disrupt like the color of my hair, anything like that, and it doesn't break out my skin. And you guys, if your skin is breaking out on like your back or anything, check out the shampoo and conditioner you're using because it could be causing it just saying so this is the shampoo that I use right here and then normally I use the conditioner that goes with this just on a regular day but on nights that I know I'm gonna curl my hair for the next day I use this so this is literally a holy grail product for me I found this product because of Kathleen lights like a million years ago and I am legit in love with it this is the L'Oreal L Vive total repair someone's walking This is the L'Oreal, it's called L Vive Total Repair 5 Damage Balm. And this is what it looks like right here. It's literally like $8. I use this once a week or before I curl my hair. It's like this thick mask. And I put this on instead of conditioner for like five minutes and then just wash it out like normal. It smells, oh my God, it smells so good. I smell this in my hair for like two days after I shower. And it just makes my hair so soft, so silky. These are the two products that I use. Then I get out and towel dry my hair. And that is the whole story of the products. And I hope you enjoy this beautiful clip of, um, you know, what I would like to be recording on YouTube if I was fancier. All right, hello guys. Here I am in all of my post shower, no makeup, skin is red glory. If you've ever wondered what I look like without makeup on, here, here I am, here we go. So you've already seen the beautiful result of this hair tutorial. And honestly, this is so random that I'm recording this. I was just in the shower and I was like, today's the day. Today is the day. So I just got out of the shower. Obviously you've already seen the products that I've used. And what I'm going to do is take this brush, this really old, literally probably 10 years old brush. And I'm going to brush through my hair gently because it's wet. Now here's the thing. To do this, you need your hair to be what we would call damp, like towel dried. You don't want it to be soaking wet. Honestly, mine is still a little bit too wet. I'm gonna have to like pause and let it dry a little bit more, but you want it to air dry to the point that basically when you sleep, you need to wake up and you need your hair to be dry. And if you go to sleep with your hair like too wet, you're gonna wake up and it's still gonna be wet and the curls aren't gonna look good. So, we're basically updating. Remember when you were in like second grade and you put your hair in like two little braids and you went to sleep and you woke up with this crazy crimped hair. We're basically doing like the really bougie version of that. This is where I'm at right now. Obviously the bottom half of my hair is extensions. You guys, my hair is like this long. It never grows past that length. Um, so my extensions are a little bit more dry than the rest of my hair, but the top of my hair is still too wet. Like see this? 
like this looks like I just got out of a pool. Too wet. So we need it to be more dry um, before we start everything, but I will go ahead and put the product in my hair that I'm gonna use and just kinda let it dry with that. So my favorite one to use when I do my curls, this is the one that I swear by for my curls. I do not use this when I straighten my hair because I think it makes it a little bit too heavy. It's like too moisturizing. And the top of my hair is naturally curly anyway, but my extensions are straight. So I need something really moisturizing that when I take my curls out, my hair and my extensions look the same. Does that make sense? So I use this product right here. This is the Kristen S. It's called Air Dry Cream, Weightless Shine for all hair types. Blah, 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 blah. And this is normally for girls that like scrunch it into their hair, like when they scrunch their hair to be curly, but I use it for this. So I take a pretty generous amount and honestly you guys, this stuff smells so freaking good. So I take like that much, I don't know, probably like a quarter, quarter size and I rub it all together and I split it between the two sides and I rake it through my hair. And honestly, like, you should just put this in your hair and then go sit by the person you're dating and just let it air dry like this because it smells freaking bomb. So it's probably gonna feel like more product than you usually put in your hair, I'd say. Um, I don't put it in the roots. I focus it like mid down with that first pump and just pull it all the way through. And then I take a tiny bit because you don't want to actually put too much on the top. So I take just this little bit, rub it together, and I put this on the top um and i'm just careful because i don't want it to be too heavy up there so that my hair doesn't look flat when it's all said and done and make sure you get a good amount on the ends so that is the only product that i use until tomorrow morning at least i'm going to let this dry for another like probably 15 minutes and just let it get a little bit more dry than this and then i will come we are back and my hair is a little bit more dry and you can tell because it's starting to curl and my natural hair dries very, very curly. Actually, this is like a very healthy curl. Okay, anyway, um, what has happened in the past 10 minutes? I had a great FaceTime with Mona and I cut my finger open, so I have a band-aid, so that's gonna make this super fun. So what we are going to do next, Mila, find a hobby, is take these little hair ties. These ones are the Tina Tour ones. I've bought two of these. I have one in Kentucky too. For some reason, these ones just don't get stuck in my hair and cause knots. Um, I don't know why there's nothing special about them. You can buy any of these like tiny little, you can't even see it. Any of these tiny little hair ties at like any, you know, pharmacy. Like they're those baby ones that your mom used to use on you back in the day. So, okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to split your hair down the middle in the back. So what, wherever that is, doesn't have to be perfect. I split it like that. And then you have your two sections in the front and you are going to split each side into two sections. You guys are gonna be like, wow, Brittany, this is so elementary. And then we are just going to braid the sections like so. Now the trick here is what I do is I start back here, like up on the highest part of my head so I can get as much hair braided as I can. So I start up here and just kind of go like as high up my head as possible with the braid so that the top part of my hair also gets like curled, if that makes sense. So it's kind of hard to tell because my hair is so dark, but it doesn't have to be beautiful, you guys. It doesn't have to be impressive. It doesn't have to look pretty. Just start it high up and work your way down. It also doesn't have to be insanely tight by any means. Like I kind of just casually, like it's not super loose, but it's also not like, I don't know, super crazy tight. So you're gonna go all the way to the very, very bottom. And it's important that you actually go to the bottom and you're only gonna leave like, I'm about to lose hair because this extension isn't long enough. Um, but wherever you can stop at the bottom, you're gonna get to the bottom, take your little hair tie guy, and you are going to wrap it around the piece until you only have like one loop left. <sighs> How's your day going? How's your night going? Are you tired? How's your shower? You know, are you feeling great? Okay, we're at the bottom. <laughs> and now with the very bottom loop, I'm gonna take it and just loop it through, but not pull it all the way through. So you're gonna have this little tail at the bottom of the hair. I'm gonna leave it like that and just pull it as far through as possible so like this tail is as small as possible and what that's gonna do is help us from having like this weird 
crease right here that we have to fix tomorrow. So do the little loop and then you're going to do the same thing three more times on the rest of your head. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up or you're gonna be bored to freaking death. Um, here we go. Okay, so this is our beautiful final product, you know, our Wizard of Oz, whatever look this is. As you can see, I will show you like a loop around. It's messy, it's not perfect by any means, it's not beautiful, because the reality is we're about to go to sleep and we're gonna freaking mess it up because that's just what happens when we sleep. Now I will say, Two things. Thing one, it does make a big difference, the fact that my hair is so long for this and the Donna Bella hair holds curl beautifully. Um, they do have wavy hair extensions and they also have the straight ones. I wear the straight ones because I can straighten them and they stay straight or I can curl them and they hold the curl so I just prefer them. Um, but I have done the wavy ones and those are amazing for me in the summer because I can wash my hair and just let it all dry by itself and the texture all matches. So if you're somebody that has wavy or curly hair, they have both those textures as well. And if you don't wanna do your hair every day, you can just let it dry and it'll be all that texture but you know when I want really curly hair I just do it this way and it's less heat than if I was to like completely curl it myself anyway if that makes sense so highly recommend the Donna Bella extensions and I do sleep I have a silk pillowcase from them you can get that on their website as well I will leave all the links for everything down below and I do have a discount code for Donna Bella stuff if you're ever interested um, I will put it on the screen right here so you can see what that is and I'm just gonna throw it in here because I don't know if I've ever, maybe I've talked about Donna Bella like once, but I've been wearing these extensions, like their brand of extensions for a full year now, like literally since this time last year. And I love them, they're reliable, they last. Honestly, I take very, very good care of my extensions. I'm a little OCD about it, but in general, I can use the same set of hair two to three installs before I need to get new hair, which is amazing. Like, really amazing. So that's really, really great, I think. I think they're really long lasting and they look natural. No one ever knows my hair is fake. So we love that. Uh, now I'm going to take me and my braids to sleep. Sleep on a silk pillowcase if you have one. You guys highly recommend it changes the texture of your hair. Less frizzies, less flyaways, less all of it. If you don't have, like don't go buy that stupid freaking, you know the brand of pillowcase, it's called Silk. They have the face masks too, I think it's called Silk. Don't buy that, it's so expensive. Those are like $100, that's absurd. Donna Bella has a really good silk pillowcase that you can get and you can totally do that. Or you can go and get like a silk shower cap and you could wrap your braids in that and sleep with it that way if you so desire i think they have those at ulta um so you can totally grab one of those i'll try to find one and link it down below so you have some options but definitely sleep with something around your hair so that like a cotton pillowcase doesn't like rough everything up or you're just gonna have a harder time with it in the morning so get a wonderful fantastic lovely good night's sleep have good dreams and i will come back and talk to you in the morning good night good morning you guys hello i hope you slept wonderfully um i am back here in my lovely bathroom, I need to um, go out and do crappy adult things today. So I am getting ready to go do that. So I'm actually really glad that I did this because it's so quick to get my hair done. After I wake up from this and it looks good for like three days and I can just keep touching it up, honestly. By the way, I do have a top on. I feel like I'm kind of blending in with the wall here. But I'm actually recording this video in real time. The day that I'm posting it um, is the day that you're seeing it. So hello, hi, happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow I am going home to Kentucky for the weekend just to spend some very, very needed time with my family right now and I miss them so much. And um, I would say that I was gonna vlog it, but honestly, you guys, like I just wanna focus on them. And so I don't think I'm going to vlog it, but I will be on Instagram posting about what I'm up to. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the hair out and show you guys what I do. It's so easy. I I know there's a little bit of heat in this, but I feel like it's a lot less than if you obviously just curled your hair on its own by this. So you can see, I definitely like slept on it. Honestly, I slept like trash last night, but my hair is definitely dry. Um, most of the loops stayed for the most part. This one fell out a little bit, but um, they pretty much lasted. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out really quickly and we're not gonna do anything to them yet. So you can see here, and this is why we do the little loop at the end because this kind of gives you like a crimp like the braid is going to give you and slowly I'm just going to start in the back and unravel from the bottom now you want to do this gently sorry that is my alarm telling me that there's motion in my backyard you want to do this gently like don't rake your hands through them you want to pull them apart pretty pretty gently here because we want to put some product in our hair before we start like 
breaking through it. So I'm just gonna separate the braids out. And if you have any pieces that look a little bit wet, like see I have some of these pieces underneath, like right here, this looks a little bit wet. Um, I'm just gonna hit that with a blow dryer. You don't wanna hit it with a blow dryer, like if you take this out right when you wake up and then you do the other steps like 20 minutes later when your hair is completely dry, then that is fine too. Okay, so this is where we are at. I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer really quick because I don't have time to wait for it to dry. So two seconds. Okay, so as you can see with the blow dryer, I'm not like running my hands through my hair or anything. I'm literally just like holding it and drying the piece. So what we are going to do next is take some dry shampoo. I know you don't need dry shampoo yet, but you do because the top of your head is flat. So my favorite one for you dark haired ladies, this is the only one that matters. This is the Batiste dry shampoo and it sprays on brown. They also have light ones for blonde hair, but I swear by this. So I'm just going to pick up the top layer, separate like one, two, three right before my part, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just like two or three sections, and then one in the back. And I'm gonna flip my head over and, you know, mess it up. Right. So I'm just sticking my hands in my roots and just rubbing the dry shampoo around. And then we flip back, and obviously we have some more volume now, which is what we're looking for. We are not brushing, we're not running our hands through our hair, we're not doing any of that. And I will just show you up close, this is kind of what we're working with here. And I know right now you're probably looking at me like, Brittany, I look like I'm a third grader. Um, and this is what I look like when I braid my hair as a child. But here is the trick, okay? You need a one inch curling wand. This one is one inch to one and a half inches. I'll link this one, it was like $20 on Amazon, I think, maybe at Target. Um, and what is important about the wand is that this one's small to big. So, the big part of the wand needs to be at the top of your head because that's what makes these curls look, I think, the most natural and gives them the most volume. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our head and we're gonna touch up a few pieces, like the pieces that have straight ends or the pieces that look weird. We're gonna just touch up a few pieces and we're gonna curl in both directions, not every piece, okay? That's the trick. So I will show you what I'm talking about as far as how to do the barrel. So like, just kind of look around, find pieces you don't like, because when you add a couple pieces, it breaks up like the monotony of the curls, like they're all going the same way right now. So if we do a couple, then it fixes that. We're going to start the curl at the bottom of the barrel. So the bottom of your hair goes to the bottom of the barrel, and then we're gonna roll up so that the top of the barrel, which is the widest part, is at the top of your head, if that makes sense. So I will show you one more time. But this one I'm just rolling backwards because it's close to my face, and then we're just gonna drop it and pull the curl. So you don't want it to be like super springy or it's not gonna match the rest of the curls. So I kind of just pull on it and play with it so it doesn't stay too perfect. And some of them I'm not gonna go all the way up. Like this one, just the end needs it, so I'm just gonna touch it and drop it, okay? We see this weird guy in here. We're gonna, we're gonna do this one, curl it upward. This one's like halfway. You don't have to be super specific about it. We're gonna fix that guy. I'm gonna do this back corner piece. And literally, this isn't like do it and hold it. This is like touch it for two seconds and it's gonna hold the curl because your hair is already curly and there's not really product in it. So it's kind of primed to be like curled. So this one, I'm gonna curl forwards just to change the direction a little bit. I'm only going halfway, drop it down. I'm gonna touch up the end of this one right here. And I'm basically just gonna go around my head doing that. I would say I'd probably grab, I don't know, maybe like 20 pieces total and touch them up. And they're generally around the front of my head and the top of my hair because that's really what you see first. And like this side, I have these straight pieces. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm only gonna hit the ends like so. And I'll do one forward, kind of go back and forth and touch up like those little pieces that you feel like don't match the rest of your head. Okay, so I touched up 
literally probably a total of 20 pieces like some of them I just fixed the ends as you can see we have ends that are like curly now I fixed those straight pieces some of them I went all the way up but I mean total not a lot at all and then you're gonna take any hairspray my favorite one is the Tresemme Trace 2 extra hold level four this one doesn't make my hair crunchy so I like this one and I'm gonna spray kind of like in between the layers nothing too much just enough to like hold it okay and then we are taking this right here this is the argon oil of Morocco this is the spray one and I'm just gonna pump this through my hands and run it through my hair like so it's really light doesn't make your hair greasy I'm just gonna do this number tame all the frizz and then we are going to shake everything out like so Shake it play with it you know do the do the whole thing do not brush it just play with it with your hands and we are ended with something like this so we have volume we have curl they're not too perfect they're a little bit messy okay so of course my camera died sorry I had to grab a different one but this is our final product right here this is so much less heat just to take these braids out and do these like pieces of curls and fix the few like in the front and honestly I mostly focus on like right here like whatever falls in the front I fix these like up front and then honestly the back I could try to care less but this is what it looks like from the back so that you can see and honestly my favorite part about this is the curls last for days if you put your hair up in a bun it looks really like huge and voluminous which is gorgeous and they're just easy to touch up like I'll get up the next three mornings in a row and just use that curling iron and touch up a couple of pieces and then I'm good to go so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial I know this is my first like hair or beauty tutorial at all. Um, I do have a makeup routine and a skincare routine coming up. Both of those videos are gonna be here. And I have skincare for the girls and for the guys. So I'm really excited to share that with you all, but I hope you enjoyed this. I know you have been asking for it for quite a while. And um, yeah, don't forget to keep up with me on Instagram. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see down in the comments. Let me know in the comments if this totally sucked. Let me know if you try this hair tutorial. Please tag me on Instagram if you do and show me how it turns out for you because I know it will kind of turn out a little bit different for everyone. Um, but I will leave all the links below in the description for everything that I used. And I hope you guys have the most amazing, wonderful, fantastic, blessed weekend. Spend time with your families. Get off your phone for a minute. And if there is sunshine or snow where you are, then enjoy them. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.